Young folks, old folks, everybody come. Come to Kids Club and have a lot of fun. Please check your chewing gum and raisins at the door, and we'll tell you Bible stories that you never heard before. Hello, children. Today's Bible story is Moses at the burning bush. If you may remember, Moses and the Hebrew people had been slaves in Egypt, and Moses escaped, and he went to Mount Sinai, and he was tending some sheep, and then he saw something really unusual. What Moses saw was a fire, but it was a most unusual fire. It was a bush that was burning, but the fire did not consume the bush. It kept on burning like a candle. And so Moses got curious, and the sheep got curious, and they walked toward the fire. And then a voice said to Moses, Moses, take off your shoes. You're on holy ground. So Moses took off his sandals, and then he paid attention to the fire, and a voice came out of the fire saying, Moses, I know that you are a Hebrew slave coming from Egypt, and I want you to go back back to Egypt. I want you to tell all my chosen people who are now in slavery that I am going to liberate them. I'm going to free them. I'm going to send all of you to the promised land. And then Moses asks the voice a question. He asks, are you God? What is your name? If I'm going to go back to e Egypt and tell all my Hebrew friends about you, I have to know your name. I have to tell them who is sending me. But the voice in the bush does not answer with a name. Oh, no. The voice just says, I am who I am. I will be who I will be. And Moses says, that's not a name. Come on, give me a name. Give me a name. This is a very important moment. Why? Well, because in the time in which Moses lived, everybody believed that names gave you control. You can see Moses' shoes there by the bush. You and I each have a name, right? And if somebody calls our name, we turn our head quickly. And if it's our mother or father who calls us and they say, go empty the wastebasket or take the dog for a walk, we just do it, right? Because who knows our name has control over us. The voice in the bush does not want Moses to have any control so the voice from the bush gives no name. God has no name. I am who I am. I will be who I will be, Moses. Just tell them. Tell my chosen people that I am has sent me to you. So right down to today, God has no name for us. Of course, we call God Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Why? Well, Jesus told us in the Lord's Prayer that when we pray, we should say, Our Father, who art in heaven. So we call God Father, but that's not God's name because God doesn't have a name. But we are the brothers and sisters of Jesus, so we call God Father. But we don't have a name. We don't have any way of controlling God, so God behaves graciously to you and me. Young folks, old folks, everybody come. Come to Kids Club and 
Have a lot of fun. Please check your chewing gum and raisins at the door, and we'll tell you Bible stories that you never heard before.